it's time to take it out to the range. Hey guys, Airgun Angie with A Gun Productions, and I've got this Stoger. This is the XM1 Ranger. It's available in 22 and 25. I've got the 25, yes, my favorite caliber, my favorite small bore caliber. Um, this is brand new, absolutely brand new from butt to muzzle, because that's how I like to do things, right? So we have a rubber butt plate, but it also has some shims in there that you can remove to adjust the length of pull. It's got adjustable cheek rise. You've got an Allen screw on each side and several adjustment places. It also has a thumb hole um, stock, the thumb hole grip, and you can remove this front um, the front grip and change it out for a smaller one. So if you don't like the bigger one, you can change it out for a smaller one. I have not tried it yet, um, but the big one seems pretty comfortable to me. It is stempled as well as the forearm. It's got a adjustable trigger, I believe. The safety is on the trigger. The trigger's actually really crisp and um, very nice. And back here on the butt of the gun, you can see the hammer spring screw, which is um, pretty easily accessible the side lever cocking handle, which everybody loves that. Everybody loves that. <laughs> then we have the magwell, and it comes with a nine shot mag with the 25, I'm guessing 10 to 11 with the 22. It also comes with a single shot tray. The mags are really, really nice. They're aluminum and it's kind of an old style loading. It's um, a lot like a lot of other mags. So you basically, Turn the top cover, insert one pellet, skirt first in the back side, then flip it over and continue loading it with the um, head first, pellets head first. And above the side cocking handle, we have a pick rail. It's a split pick rail. Yes, this gun is regulated. We have a regulator gauge. This one is set at about 150. You'll see these screws at the end. I did not put them on yet because I prefer when I'm testing a gun to shoot off the bag to get the best results. That's what works best for me. It comes with accessory rails, pick accessory rails that you just screw on there. Moving forward, we have the air cylinder, which is 300cc, 250 bar um, max fill, and the pressure gauge is at the end of the air cylinder. It has a spring-loaded dust cover where you would insert the probe. It does require a fill probe. so. You don't have to keep up with the dust cover, but you do need to keep up with the fill probe. Okay, so the length of the barrel is 24 inches. It is a rifled, shrouded barrel. It has half by 20 UNF a threaded barrel, so you can attach a moderator on it. I don't find it to be terribly loud. Um, yes, I have already shot it, I've sighted it in. The weight of the gun with the optic on it, because I didn't weigh it before and I didn't even look it up, um, the weight of it with the optic on it is 9.5 pounds. So I'd say without the optic, maybe about, maybe a little under nine. And then, um, of course, I have my Hawk Vantage on here.
well is a tensioned barrel system, so it actually helps quiet it down even more. I guess that's, it's sighted in guys, so we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take um, a few shots at 25 yards, and then we're gonna move it back to 50. So, and I'm using the exact King 25s today. I've got them marked to the 33.95s as well as the 25 39s um, just to see um, how it likes each different weight, whether it likes a lighter pellet or a heavier pellet. All right, let's take some shots at 25 yards and see what we're going to get. I don't think I cocked it, so I'm gonna go for the top left bullseye. Nope. Oh, the trigger is light. I really did not even mean to pull it. That's lovely. I'm going to shoot a second group, um, a second five shot group because I want to see I improve because these are gray shots. This is out the box, guys. Gray shots. I always allow myself gray shots and you should too. You really should. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot um, five more shots in the target to the right. Did I cock it? I don't know. I'll go with the target on the bottom. No, I did not cock it. Reload. Reload. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna move it back to 50, guys and take some more shots, see what we're getting. Sounds like there's a little monster next door. Like seriously, some very strange noises are coming from the neighbors. Wow, okay, let's move back. All right, we are at 50 yards. I mean, I should probably check the air pressure, right? Oh, we are like, we ain't hardly come off a full. We are just fine. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna shoot the bottom left, um, um, kind of 50 yard target to see where I'm hitting at 50 yards. And then we'll, um, get shoot for accuracy and that was low a little bit left oh looks like i went up too much <laughs> a lot too much I'm gonna actually shoot at a different bullseye. I'm just gonna shoot a group, see how it's grouping this far. I guess I need to probably load the mag. Yep. All right, let me see how we group at 50 with these. I'm gonna shoot for the um, top right target. Oh, of course, all four of them are doing so lovely. And then we have one that just decides, I want to be alone, guys. I really don't want to hang out with you. So I'll be right over here. That was really good. So <laughs> those are the lighter pellets. Let's check out, I'm going to shoot the heavier ones at the bottom target, the 33.95s, and see what we get with those. Let me, hold on, let me check the. Just lovely, just lovely. 
I need to remember how many shots I took, which I should be able to with the chronograph. And the first like three side end shots. All right, I'm gonna take a shot at the um, full to empty target to see where I'm hitting because they're heavier. Let me go for that top right target. Okay, so they're shooting about one and a half mil dots low. I'm not gonna adjust the scope. I'm just going to aim one and a half mil dots low. Make it up. I gotta. I gotta shoot one. One more. Okay, that was better. Not where I wanted to go, but it was better. Let's see how many points I can get <laughs> with the. Let's start at the big. Oh, really? On one of the biggest ones. Oh, bummer. Bummer. Mm. I don't know why my heart is racing so much. There we go. Ooh. Where did that one go? I think it was a bullseye. Oh. One more. Oof, I got it. I got the tiniest one. I got the tiniest one. That was awesome. <laughs> the Stoger XM1 Ranger in 25 caliber. Oh yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. We're at 50 yards, guys, and I can bet you, I can bet you that this is more like a 75 yard, maybe even a 100 yard PCP because that's a pretty sweet um, tight group at 50. And I'm sure shooting it more, getting to know the trigger, getting to know the gun, getting comfortable with it, I can promise you that I will get better groups. So just out of the box and out of the box performance from the Stoger XM1 um, Ranger. Oh yeah. <laughs> I really, really am impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect. This is my first experience with Stoger air guns and you really don't hear about them that much. So this one, I think it should catch y'all's attention. It's definitely got mine. Um, maybe there'll be more with it. I'll have to see what Stoger says. Um, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. The Stoger XM1 Ranger in 25 cal, also available in 22. Just a comfortable all around gun. Got plenty of adjustments, the cheek riser, the um, butt plate. The, even the grip is adjustable to put a smaller one in. This is just for around 300 bucks, a great, great entry or budget PCP. So thank you Stoger for letting me check this out. Guys, it's your turn. <laughs> I'm Aragon Angie with A-Gun Productions. Y'all don't just have a good day, have an awesome one. See ya. So, the Stoger XM Ranger. Did I say that right? XM Ranger, XM1, I'm missing one. The Stoger XM1 Ranger in 25 caliber. Oh yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. 